to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. I didn't play with words. Spirit-inspired, word-compliant, life-applicable kingdom truth that makes for your lifting for your rising it is these these adjectives that help you to understand the quality of what you are receiving the speakings of a man on its own does not change doesn't really bless it is when it is spirit inspired word compliant are we together life applicable that means at the end of every teaching by the grace of god you should find the point of application in your life Hallelujah. Your life is about to change. Speed. Is someone praying? Are there people of prayer in this place? the name of the Lord amen who is Victoria I'm hearing the name Victoria 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 the Victoria I'm talking about is holding a child is there any Victoria here you are holding a baby this is what I'm seeing in my vision is there someone like that come Let it rain. My dear, this is your child? Is your husband here? No, sir. Where are you coming from? I stayed across, opposite. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You see, from next month and for the next three months, what will happen in your family will amaze you. Amen. You will never forget this conference. Amen. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Father, I stretch my hands over Victoria. You have brought her by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, I release you. And your husband step into a new level of supernatural blessing. Take that grace. You will never, never be the same. I decree and I declare that everything that is not the planting of the Lord over your family here at this world conference in the name of Jesus be delivered from it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit there is someone that's all right please you can give them the child the Lord is showing me someone here the power of God is going to come upon you there are patterns of death over your family and the Lord says he wants to bring it to an end. We'll not take time. We'll just pray and then we're done for this morning session. We'll hopefully have the time to minister 
and pray for the sick. Please don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing a woman here. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are wearing blue. Look at this. Look at this. Listen, please look up. Let me teach you something. I know that there's been a lot of abuses, immaturity, imbalances in the administration of the prophetic. This has come because of insufficient or inadequate mentorship alongside lack of scriptural balance. Are we together now? When the gifts of the spirit are administered out of the reference of scripture, they will lead to a plethora of imbalances. However, there is the accurate system of administering the gift of the spirit such that believers are edified and then Jesus is glorified. Look the people who have come before the Lord. You see, when miracles happen like this, it is more than just a show that a man is, you don't have to kneel, my people. It, it is more than a show that a man is anointed. No. There is a bigger agenda to that. When you see so many women coming to stand unashamed, trusting God for a miracle, God, you see, there are messages behind every prophetic word and every miraculous manifestation. God is speaking about fruitfulness. It may not just be biological fruitfulness alone. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. We'll sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. I'll start by ministering to the officer woman. I have profound respect for people in the military and people in the force. They labor day and night protecting our regions, protecting our nations. And anywhere I see them, not favoritism, but I show them the honor that befits their sacrifice. Madam, thank you for coming. Lay your hands on your stomach. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for everyone, but I want to pray for you. Do you believe in miracles? In the name of Jesus, look at me, madam. I stretch my hands towards you. I don't care what the medical situation is. In the name of Jesus who sent me to this island and by the power of the resurrected Christ, I decree and declare unto you, according to the time of life, Go and return with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. According to the time of life. Go and return with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to pray for all of you. I really, really can sympathize with you. And it is not an easy thing to get up and come standing for yourself. Believing God for this. All of the troubles that many of you may have to have gone through. This is why he sent us. We come as instruments revealing his love, revealing his power. I want to pray for you right now. Truly, there is power to heal. Truly. I want you to know that if you believe this, you will be surprised. Forget about whatever medical report you see. Just focus on Jesus. They looked unto him, the Bible says, and they were not ashamed. Please place your hand. Don't cry. Place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray for you. Please help them because the power of God will come on some of them.
I've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and lean. It is recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. Something is happening to you as. As I'm singing this song, my God, look and leave, my brother, leave. look to Jesus. A miracle is happening in your womb, no power in existence can stop you. Hallelujah. Now I command every spirit behind this. You know my voice, I speak as one sent. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, help them. I command those devils out of their bodies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare, help that man. I'm sure he's standing in for his wife or some person. In the name that is above all names. May your womb be open now. May your womb be open now in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God. Let me tell you this. There is a vision that I saw this morning. I will tell you in the evening. But there is something to settle on your land here. I'm going to be praying a prayer this night in this place. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him. That everything that is not it that does not name the name of Christ that territorially holds people down except Jesus is not Lord he must give way to them. <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I pray for you my dear sisters in the name of Jesus in the presence of all the men of God veterans of the gospel within this region we agree by faith as a family of faith and we declare in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God go and return with your miracles go and return with your miracles God who located you and brought you out by his spirit it does not matter whether the challenge comes from you your husbands or both in the name of Jesus we correct every anomaly in the name of Jesus Christ. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone who will we'll be rounding up now. The Lord is showing me someone you are here, but I'm seeing that you came from Lagos. There's something that has to do with Lagos. I don't know whether you came for this program or you had something that brought you from Lagos. The Lord wants me to pray for that person. I'm seeing a connection with Lagos. Is there someone like that? Very quickly, and then I'll pray with you. If there's someone like that please very quickly i'm not saying you live in lagos that's not what i'm saying you're not domiciled here i don't know why the lord is asking that i pray for you i want to pray for you There's someone you have the call of God the power of God is coming on you now I thought we'll do the impartation in the evening but I'm saying there is God has been training you in the secret very there, there are dimensions of the prophetic and dimensions of the healing grace God wants to
to in a greater measure bring these graces these twin graces they don't have to rush out just hold them please in the name of Jesus you don't have to bring them out my dear. by the power that raised Christ from the dead upon such ones male female you have been in the cave of Adullam been walked upon by the Spirit of God for some of you no one knows you you are still going through the dealings of the Spirit in the name of Jesus the grace Kalapos you will never be the same you've touched this grace life is changed you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed let me pray for you now the power of god will come on one of you in front here the moment that happens i'll now pray for the rest just hold it in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, connected to Lagos, I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that everything that represents failure, everything that represents retrogression, in the name of Jesus, whose I am and whom I serve, I declare, let it come to an end now. For you and for all connected to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In Jesus' name, please go back, maybe just one, who is Sam? The Lord would not let me rest. I'm hearing a name, Sam. They call you Sam. Sam, like S A M. Is there anyone? Those following online, you can connect by faith. It's not only those in the local um, environment here. God can be speaking. Please make sure your name is Sam. Who is that? What's your name? Sam. You are Sam? What do you do, sir? A coach. I do sport. I want to pray for you. Touch your your left leg. If I, I want to pray for you so that something will not happen to your bone here. That it will affect you in sports. You see what I'm saying? I hope I'm not a prophet of doom, huh? You hear what I'm saying? But I don't pray for you. I'm seeing something that is breaking your bone. And this thing is affecting you almost like ruining what you are doing. But can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Number one, I pray that you will help this man. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest they dip their hands in iniquity. He keepeth his bones, and none is broken. I declare may the Lord keep and preserve you and then I pray for your career and that which you do the grace to excel let it come upon you in the name of Jesus and for all of you I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord called you out by himself I decree and declare that which you do I bless your hands go and prosper in the name of Jesus Christ go and prosper by the power of the Holy Spirit go and prosper in the name of Jesus. Now, I'd like you to open your mouth in one minute. What one thing are you trusting that between now and the end of this conference must be a testimony in your life? I release my faith with you. Please open your mouth and pray by faith. Pray by faith. Pray by faith. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Is someone talking to the Lord? Pray by faith. May be concerning your job, this is a world encounter. May be concerning your spiritual life, greater levels of fire, grace, anointing. May be for your family, your children. May be for your loved ones. May be for your region. Go ahead and pray. Are you praying? Don't be tired of prayer. It's important to pray. 
Don't say I prayed about it again and again and nothing happened. Pray. Just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. Just help them. We are praying. This is part of the meeting. Please pray. You came this morning. Help those under the anointing. Just help them. You don't have to bring them out. I'm releasing my faith with you. The Lord is answering prayers. Just hold them. Hold them so hold them and just keep them down somewhere. Shabaka paradagada balada bakasia. Shkem preteke paratos katelekete parada balada balaba. If you have nothing to pray, pray in the spirit. Let's take a few minutes to build up our spirit man. But you, beloved, building yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Pray. Fresh anointing, oh God, upon my ministry. Fresh anointing, oh God, upon my life. Are you praying? Fresh anointing. A resurrection over my prayer life. A resurrection. Help those under the anointing. Help those under the anointing, please. Just hold them so they don't fall. Please hold them. Hold them and just... Challenge every force. Challenge every power that contends with the word of the Lord over your mouth. Challenge every force. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Pray. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted ancient doors. Over this island, over this region, it's time for God's people to experience the prevailing power of the word, the prevailing power of the grace of God. Over your career, pray over your profession, pray over your family, pray over your ministry, pray over your spiritual life, pray over your destiny. Don't be silent. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Spiritual slumber, spiritual laziness, lukewarmness. In the name of Jesus, I challenge you on this Lord's day. To be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. Pray for a renewed appetite for the word of God. A renewed appetite for spiritual things. Now pray for your loved ones. As for me and my house. As for me and my house, it must be me and my house. It must be me and my house. Parents intercede for your children. 
young people for your parents for your loved ones in the name of Jesus say unto the righteous it shall be well with them let the redeemed of the Lord say so pray so speak so declare so let the blessed of the Lord pray so speak so declare so rebuke the spirit of fear God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love power and of a sound mind Lord, I found my prayer altar afresh. I found my prayer altar afresh. I found my prayer altar afresh. Let this be a conference that brings renewal. Let this be a conference that brings empowerment. Let this be a conference that brings refreshing. In the name of Jesus, let this be a conference that brings empowerment. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, let me make a request if if it is fine with the organizers of the conference, I'd like you tonight as you are coming, come with any point of contact. Whatever it is that God can use as a point of contact, or you can come with a prayer request. Write something you are tired of that must live your life. Call your loved ones who may not be able to make it. By the grace of God, we are going to receive this prayer request this night and let the God that answers by fire arise like the mighty one that he is. We'll be praying for the sick tonight and there will be impartations of graces. Many of you have had dreams, visions where God has told you it's time to carry certain graces. I'd like you to come with your heart hungry, ready to receive for your life, for your ministry, that he will set you on fire and he will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you? And with our hands lifted high, we will worship our King. And with our hands lifted high, we come before you rejoice. With our hands lifted up to the sky And the world wonders why We just tell them we love in a key Oh, we just tell them we love in a key In the name of Jesus, I stand in faith with the servants of God over this land and this territory the same way it is raining outside prophetically any drought in your life in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God we bring that drought to an end now spiritual drought financial drought in the name of Jesus it comes to an end now Number two, I declare over your life every manifestation of stagnation, long-standing stagnation, that the only thing growing in your life is your age. Nothing else is growing. I pray in the name that is above all names, let stagnation come to an end now. Whoever has been anointed by God to hold your hands and to lift you in this season, in the name that is above all names, like Pharaoh sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon, I command their ministry in your life now. I separate you from any wrong association that is interrupting your spiritual life 
be separated in the name of Jesus. I pray for all who are connected to you here on ground, following online, and all across this nation and the nations of the world. The same power that is touching you here by the ministry of angels, let it reach them wherever they are. And finally, I pray every lukewarmness in your spirit man some of you your prayer life this was not how you started your word life your passion for the things of god but now you found out that there's there's been a gradual deterioration fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar fresh zeal for the things of god fresh commitment for the house of god in the name of jesus I will not fail to make an altar call yet even though we made one yesterday night i still believe even if it is for the sake of one person who is saying apostle do not end this morning session without giving me an opportunity to run to jesus or you are here you are saying i could not follow yesterday i couldn't make it but i know that i need jesus i remember giving my heart to jesus but my life is not the way it is wherever you are I will count one to four you were not here yesterday please win that war don't wait for someone to be the first come and stand come and stand come and stand come and stand god bless you Keep coming. There's something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. If you're joining them, come quickly. Come quickly. standing i salute every one of you for coming the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away jesus is more than the founder of a religion god bless you darling blessings to you i want you to lift your right hand if you can high to the heavens and i want you to say this after me you're not reciting a poem jesus is here say after me lord jesus i love you and I believe in you that you are the Son of God this morning I declare that I am unable to help myself and so I come to you I receive forgiveness of sins and I receive eternal life into my spirit be my Lord be my savior and be my king i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life from today i go forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus please keep the hands lifted father we thank you for saving by your word even to the uttermost this morning thank you for these ones that you have brought before the cross in the name of jesus i pray that the lord will help you he will show you mercy you will never go back to where you came from it will be a journey forward ever in jesus dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. The phase of development.
Lord, grant me the discipline 